Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I've filmed a video. I've honestly just been taking a break. I didn't expect this to happen, but I've been having a pretty good time just enjoying myself and actually taking basically a social media detox because I've hardly been on social media, which has been really nice for me. So I wanted to come on here and talk about some favorites, things that I've been enjoying and just my mental state and how it's changed. And I first want to mention the One Step Podcast. It is hosted by Ingrid Nielsen, a YouTuber. This is the second season that she's on. She has her producer on there, co-hosting with her, and she's filming out of her closet or recording out of her closet. If you're having a hard time with coping, um, I really recommend checking it out. And yeah, it's really changed my mindset. One subject that she's touched on is nurturing your inner child. I'm not sure if that's exactly what she calls it, but I've been doing a lot of that and it's really been helping me. And so that's why I wanted to come on here and talk about some things that I've really been enjoying. And another thing is that I haven't worn makeup in over a week. This is my first time putting on makeup, like not even mascara or eyebrows. My eyebrows are so grown out. And when I noticed it, probably like six days in, I was like, wow, this is an opportunity for me to grow up my eyebrows and see what they look like. So I did clean them up a little bit. But yeah, I have makeup on today and I really went all out. So I thought I would start with that since I do talk about beauty on my channel. And I did get the two Huda Beauty palettes. I was having a lot of fun with them when I first got them. I was wearing one eye on each color what? <laughs> One color on each eye. And that was really fun. And then the next palette that I got in the mail, I wasn't sure if I would even get it, was the um, a fun size palette by Sugar Pill and this is so adorable and the reason why I didn't get any more of these little ones is because this one has a bunch of colors and I have a lot on my eyes right now. Why am I touching my hair? <laughs> makes no sense. Yeah, I'm wearing this purple color on my lid and this one does have some purple but not really and I have on the yellows on the inner corner and I mix these two greens for the inner corner and this is so cute. I love the names like cheat code, 8-bit player one, twitch, level up, rage quit, continue, high score, and game over. They're so cute. And it's so fitting for my life right now because I'm gonna touch on something that I've been obsessed with in a bit. If you are my skin color or darker, I just wanna touch on these a little bit. So when I first got them, I was a bit confused about the really, really light shades. I was like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? This is not going to show up. But I realized that these really light shades, like this light pink and this very light green, they're basically a transition shade. So if you put one of the darker you know, pastels on, I basically put it up on this area and it really helps blend out that color. So yeah, there is a use for those very light shades and I do have some of the um, metallics on my eyes as well. And when I heard Ingrid talk about nurturing your inner child, I realized that me purchasing these palettes was basically that part of me screaming or coming out and being like, have some fun with makeup. So yeah, I'm really excited to still have these, but I haven't been wearing them because I haven't been wearing makeup, which is also another favorite of mine. I don't know, I just feel like I love makeup so much, but I've really been enjoying just being myself. And this may sound so silly, but I feel like I'm living a dude life. So living this dude life, I'm not saying all dudes. I know there are dudes out there that wear makeup and all that stuff, but I'm talking about like a general dude, like my husband. I look at him and he gets up and he doesn't like worry about putting makeup on his face or like grooming his eyebrows or doing his hair or anything like that. He just gets up and lives his life and that's basically what I've been doing. And I know there are girls out there that don't wear makeup. Um, so yeah, it's just such an interesting thing that I've been doing, just existing as myself and not worrying about what I look like. Um, yeah, I mean, doing makeup is always fun and a way for me to express my creativity. That's why today kind of went a little crazy. I have on like freckles that are iridescent. I did it with my Stila Glitter and Glow. I just dotted it on and it's really fun. I just felt like looking like a fairy today. Also, this top right here. I was supposed to wear this on vacation. It's actually a romper. I have leggings on underneath and I thought that I would just film in it. And as far as getting dressed goes, I haven't been wearing like actual clothes. I wear gym clothes or sweatpants. Um, I do make sure to change my top because I change my t-shirt every single night for like acne reasons. So I do make sure to put on a different shirt 
and then at night change into a pajama shirt. So I do that still. And I haven't been straightening my hair. That's another thing. I really wasn't just straightening it. I thought that it would get me into filming, but it hasn't been. And I haven't been doing my regular curly hair routine. I've been using products that aren't my Aveda um, curl something. <laughs> In my last video, I did mention that I wasn't into wearing my hair curly, and I think I've passed that. I think it was really just me feeling like this quarantine self of mine was not worthy of my like products, and I was just like, I don't want to use my products when I'm just at home, so I'm using other products that I have. So yeah, I've just been styling a different way. I've also styled it so it looks a little bit longer. Um, my curls are a bit stretched out in the front as you can see. Um, so yeah, it looks really good and I'm enjoying my hair. Wearing it parted down the middle now. The next thing that I've been doing to nurture my inner child is have fun cereal. And I got these a couple weeks ago, probably like three weeks ago I've had these boxes, so I haven't been having them as much. Um, but yeah, we have fun cereal. Reese's Puffs, love these. And tricks. We had Cocoa Puffs and cereals that my mom had given to me like a while ago. And this is actually one of my hacks, like for, I don't know, keeping on top of not craving really calorically dense desserts. I still eat them and all that stuff, um, but we don't really make it at home. But yeah, this is one of my hacks. I have cereals like this in the house, not really fruity ones, more like chocolatey ones. So those have been really fun, and Michael has also been enjoying that. And Michael and I just have been indulging in snacks like these sun chips. We love sun chips. We could honestly eat one bag in the whole night, but I'm like, take it easy. We gotta, we gotta savor those. So we have other types of chips and all that kind of stuff. Not stuff that we normally buy, but it's been really making us happy. And I don't know, it's just so fun. It makes me feel like a kid again. And I think it's so important. And I'm really okay with those kind of snacks because I don't personally turn to alcohol um, for comfort. It's one of those things that I just like see my husband having a drink and I'm like, eh, sure, whatever. But like, I don't get excited to have a drink. I get excited to have fun cereal that reminds me of being a kid again. Since we don't have kids, we're not really exposed to childlike things. So thank goodness our hobbies and things that we like are kind of childlike. Another thing that I've been doing is staying up really late. I'm talking like three o'clock in the morning, not every night, but a lot of nights. So basically last Friday, not this past Friday, but before that, uh, Final Fantasy VII came out. If you are into video games or you know someone that is into that franchise, it came out. It's a game that my husband's been waiting for, for like forever. It's his favorite thing in the world. And yeah, he took days off to play that game. So basically he had a four day weekend and a couple days before that I got Animal Crossing. I had no idea what this game was. And then I got it and I've just been playing that video game ever since. I did not realize what would happen to me once I got this game. It's all I've been doing. I'm not kidding. This is why I haven't been wearing makeup. It's why I disappeared. It's why I'm not filming videos. Like sitting down and doing this was a really big deal for me because every single day, probably for the past four days, I'm like, yeah, the next day, tomorrow, I'm going to put on some makeup. I'm gonna film a video, film this fun tutorial that I have planned, and no, it doesn't happen. I wake up and I get my Switch and I start playing my game. But for the past four days, We've been taking breaks. I've been really trying to, you know, do more things. There's nothing really for me to organize. We just do regular stuff like, you know, clean and laundry. What else do we do? Cook, of course. I took off my nail polish because I'm like, I don't want to worry about doing my nails because hello, we have priorities. <laughs> so with this video game, I didn't realize that it was going to suck me in so much because I didn't know what it was. I had heard about it. I've played Super Smash Brothers, like that fighting games. I play those kind of games, but I knew about the character Isabel. She's a puppy. She's a Shih Tzu and she's so cute, but I didn't realize that this game was about home decor and landscaping and things like that. I had no idea. Plus, I don't really play handheld games. I've never owned a DS. I usually like to play on TV. Like I play Kingdom Hearts. That is a adventure um, RPG that you play on the TV, um, but I don't play handheld games. So I will play with this, um, but honestly, we have a TV in the living room that we replaced. We got a new TV in our bedroom and 
There were some days where I was out there with Michael and we had two TVs in the living room playing side by side. And that was our life for like three days. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I feel so strange revealing my secrets to you guys, but like it's the truth and it's been bringing me so much joy. And if you don't play video games, you just won't understand. Like my mom, she doesn't understand, <laughs> but I don't really care. Hey, future Crystal here. So I forgot to mention that the name of my island is Erezed Island after the Mirror of Erezed, obviously had to throw in some Harry Potter stuff. And I will be leaving my friend code down below in case you wanna be friends. I really don't have any friends on there except for my cousin. And I really want to make more friends. I even made an Instagram for it. It's um, Erezed Island underscore AC and H for Animal Crossing New Horizons. So if you play, friend me and go check out my Instagram. I'll leave everything down below if you wanna go check it out and back to the video. So as far as taking breaks and being more normal and doing other things other than play the Switch, I've been watching more TV shows and basically continuing TV shows. I haven't started anything new, but the two shows that are CW shows actually are Legacies and Arrow, and season two of Legacies is now on Netflix, so I've been watching that while I play because I gotta multitask. And Arrow, I'm on season four, and honestly, it's a little cheesy. They're both cheesy, but it's that part of me that misses watching those kind of shows. So I've been doing that. We also watched It Too yesterday, which was so out of the blue. I was so like scared. I was actually joking, like, oh, put it on. He did um, while I was finishing my workout and went to shower and came back and it was on and I really enjoyed it. It was a little creepy, but it was fun to watch. So this whole subject of nurturing my inner child has really been like so much fun. I know that I won't have an opportunity like this once this whole quarantine is over. So yeah, this has just been such an interesting experience and this is my version of self-care and I have been trying to do face masks and things like that and taking care of my cuticles and things of that nature just to really self-parent myself. Sorry, my car just shut down, had to make more space, so I'm back. And the last thing I wanna talk about is exercise. So I had been exercising, it was fine. We're definitely losing some muscle. I was working out regularly, like trying to do at-home workouts by myself, but I realized that I really like workout videos, so I've been doing that. I've been starting with a workout video. I really like Chloe Ting because she has a counter, um, and I just like her voice, it's really relaxing. So I actually purchased a yoga mat. This was actually the last thing that I ordered weeks ago, and it just came like four days ago or three days ago, and it is from Lululemon, and it's this rose color, it's so beautiful, and then the inside is this like dusty color. It's so beautiful. I actually don't have a regular yoga mat because when we changed my brakes, we used it as a floor cushion and it was destroyed. So I only have a thick yoga mat, which is not good for when your hands are on the mat because it actually bothers my wrists and I don't like to do a lot of plank type things because of that. But yeah, that is good for when I'm sitting down and want to spread my legs in a V because the bottom of my heels get really irritated. But yeah, I treated myself to a fancy yoga mat, which is really nice. And honestly, the video game has really saved my bank account. I haven't felt the need to purchase things, an online shop, because this game has a shop. You go into the clothing store, you check out what's there, you buy stuff, you go into the other store and you collect like furniture and objects to decorate your island with. And yeah, that's why I've just been enjoying this so much. I'm basically shopping in this game and I'm not spending money. These palettes and that yoga mat were the last thing that I purchased like two weeks ago. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you enjoyed the message of this video. We don't have to come out of this quarantine better than we did going in and I know some people that are saying that so I'm relaying the message to you guys because I don't want everyone to have this pressure like we should be doing all these like really productive things when we're just not feeling it. We just need to listen to ourselves and nurture what our body and our mind is telling us if you want to stay in bed all day and play video games like I do some days, go ahead and do it. If you want to eat snacks in bed, just 
do it. That wraps it up for this video. I've been blabbering on. I guess I really did miss filming and talking about things that I've been enjoying. So if you've stuck around, please give it a thumbs up. It really means a lot to me. And leave me something down below that you are doing to basically nurture your inner child. You're probably doing something that is uh, helping you. So please leave it down. I'd love to hear it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.